My name's Pam Araneta, and I'm a consulting scientist at Waters Corporation, where I've been for 30 years. Hybrid technology is enjoying its uh, 20th anniversary this year, and CSH, Charged Surface Hybrids, are what we consider part three of the Waters family of hybrid materials at this point. We had introduced materials that we evaluated focusing mainly on optical detectors. And when it came time to look and focus on how our materials performed for LC mass spec separations, we realized that these high purity materials had some shortcomings, in particular when it comes to the ubiquitous 0.1 formic acid acetonitrile gradients that were the go-to method for mass spec analysis. And it was great for sensitivity and not so good for dynamic range when it came to analyzing, in particular, basic compounds. The basic compounds would end up tailing a lot under these mobile phase conditions. Even though these were very high purity column surfaces. It wasn't just our brands of C18 that had this problem. You saw it everywhere. What was happening with the formic acid mobile phases is that the tail was more like a shark fin. This was a problem for mass spec applications that required a larger dynamic range. If you use CSH, what happens is CSH fixes these problems of peak shape and one of the reasons why you don't have that problem is CSH introduces a very low level positive charge. And that positive charge helps to kind of balance the adsorption isotherm of basic compounds between anti-Langmuirian and Langmuirian isotherms. I think one of the real benefits of creating CSH is that it helped answer questions about why materials were performing the way they were.